hello. Why don't I hear any music? Good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? I'm so happy to see you today in our Thinking Adventures class. I'm Miss Terry, your teacher, one of the teachers at Pre-K to Go, and I teach the Thinking Adventures class along with some other classes that we have. And we have classes for all ages from zero to five years. Now, I would love it if you would leave us, let us know who is here with us today. It'd be nice to know maybe where you live, maybe your age, um, just something about yourself so that we can communicate back and forth and feel free to put that into our chat area because that way I can see what you're saying because we can't talk directly to each other like we do in normal classes when we do our Zooms. But it'd be great to know who's here visiting with us today. It's, it's so nice to see you. How is your day going? Has anything special happened in your day today? I would love to know if it did by Miss Terry here. I live in Wisconsin and the weather is beautiful today. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, and it's just so nice to be outside and play when we get a chance, okay? So who might be hanging out with us today, I wonder? It's so good to see you. Are you ready to do our good morning or our good afternoon song actually? Because it's not morning anymore, is it? No, it's not, it's afternoon. So we have a good afternoon song we like to sing. And I am going to put up for you parents the materials that we would be using today in case you haven't had a chance to get them together yet or you didn't see what they were. The materials are gonna scroll across the bottom while we do our good afternoon song and get ready for our day, okay? Let's see, who is with us? Julian and Silas are here. Hello, boys, how are you today? Look. Ginger says, hello, thanks for coming to see us. I'm so happy you're here. It's nice to see you. Are you ready for our song? Yeah, we're gonna get ready for that. Here we go, it's the good afternoon song. Ready? Are you ready, Ginger? Uh-huh, okay. Good afternoon, preschool friends, how are you? Clap your hands. Good afternoon, preschool friends, how are you? It's time to start our day to work here to work and play good afternoon preschool friends how are you good job ginger what's that oh and amari's with us too hello amari how are you it's so nice to have you joining class with ginger and i and julian and silas thanks for coming now you know what we have to work on because we do it every class don't we we do our calendar, right? We're going to see what month it is, what day it is, and what number it is, right? We're going to do all of that because it helps us to keep track of what we're doing in our days when we know what it is. And it helps us to learn letters and sounds and numbers by doing that, okay? So we're going to start out with the calendar. Here we go. Are you ready? So this tells us that yesterday was what day? It starts with a T. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this. So, hmm. Aw, Adriana says it looks fun. So she's joining us too. Well, thanks, Adriana. So today's day of the week starts with a T. -t, 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 -t. Do we remember what those are? Hmm. How about Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How many days are in our week? 
Seven, that's right. And today is the one that starts with the T. Tuesday, that's right. Today is Tuesday. So if today is Tuesday, what will tomorrow, or yesterday was Tuesday. I'm sorry. What is today then? If yesterday was Tuesday, today is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <gasps> Yeah, it's Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. Very nice. It's Wednesday. So that means what will tomorrow be? Hmm. Tomorrow will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Very good. Good job, my friends. Tomorrow is Thursday. Excellent. Now let's look at our month. Our month starts with what letter? What letter do we see here? That's right. It's an S. An S makes the S sound. What month starts with S? Hmm. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August. September, that's right. September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And what's our number? It is a two and a one. So that makes it 21. Very good. So today is Wednesday, September 21st. Good job, everybody. So I'm wondering if any of you have ever heard of a man named Johnny Appleseed. Have you ever heard of him? Yeah, today I'm going to show you what our objectives for today are. We are going to learn who Johnny Appleseed was. We're going to work on counting to five. We're going to work on the letter A and its sound. We are going to explore the parts of an apple, and we're going to make our own fun art piece. Are you ready for that? Who wants to hear about Johnny Appleseed, though? Oops, did you see that? My poster just fell. Can you believe that? It's been a silly day today. Things falling all over the place. But we're going to talk about Johnny Appleseed. Do you know who he is? I have something to show you about Johnny Appleseed. This will give you a hint. Have you ever seen somebody walking around with a hat on that looks like this? Have you? I haven't. But guess what? Johnny Appleseed lived long, long ago, like over 200 years ago, and he wore a hat that reminded me of a pot. It was actually made out of tin cans. Look, like that, yeah, made out of tin cans. He was a little unusual in some ways, but he that's what he wore, was his hat like that. Now, why do you suppose he could have been called Johnny Appleseed? Do you think that's the name he was born with? I'll give you a hint, it wasn't his real name. Why would he be called Johnny Appleseed? That's a different name, right? Does anybody have any ideas? What do you think? Oh, well, let's see. I think we have somebody might have answered us. Oh, somebody's here from Massachusetts. Well, hello. Welcome. Do you have any idea why this man was called Johnny Appleseed? Hmm. Let's find out his story. Long ago, like I said, over 200 years ago, there was a man, he was John, his real name was John Chapman. He was born in Massachusetts, but he moved to Pittsburgh. He built his own little cabin and was farming there, but he didn't farm what everybody else farmed. He chose to grow apple trees and make apple orchards. So he grew apple orchards. And then one day he saw down where a whole bunch of another group of people were 
pr using, it's called an apple press. And they put all these apples in and mixed and smashed them to get the juice out for cider. And he saw all these leftover apple seeds. And he thought to himself, hmm, I should pick those up and sell them to make money. That wasn't such a bad idea, was it? They're just sitting there. They were going to go to waste. So he gathered them to sell them. And he sold them to people around him where he lived. And then he thought, hmm, all these people are moving way, way far away. And they don't have apple trees. Maybe, just maybe, because apples are so good and so yummy and so good for you. Maybe I should take apple seeds to them and sell them. So that's what he did. He had somebody watch over his orchard and he walked because back then there were no trains, there were no cars, there was only horses and wagons, but he didn't even take those. He walked and guess what? He never wore shoes. Yeah, can you imagine walking days and days and days and no shoes? He didn't wear shoes and his clothes were always kind of raggedy, like they had holes in them and they were kind of what you'd use for paint clothes, like they weren't very good. But he walked and walked and walked out west. And along the way, he would stop, buy some property, he would plant trees and make an orchard. And before he would leave, you know what he would do? He would put fences around them to help protect them from the wild animals, because animals like them too. And he would ask neighbors to keep an, an eye on it. So then he'd keep going and going and going. And every year he would come back to Pittsburgh to get more seeds. Well, along the way, he met some people and his faith became very important to him. So while he was traveling out west with his apple seeds, making orchards, he was also a missionary and shared his faith with the people he met. And people loved him. He was nice. He was friendly. He told stories. He sang songs. And that is how he got the name Johnny Appleseed. And you know what? He did that for over 50 years. And he's planted tree he planted trees in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, West Virginia, and even way up in Canada, in Ontario, Canada. Uh, David is six and Jose is five years old. Thanks for coming. Oh, that's cute. You thought his name was Johnny Appleseed, Amari, because he liked candy. That was a good idea, too. I'm glad you're sharing those comments with me. So that is the story of Johnny Appleseed. Now, guess what? I have a song that talks about the Appleseed Man because you know what? That's what the Native Americans used to call him, the Appleseed Man. So are you ready for our song? It goes, oh, do you know the apple man, the apple man, the apple man? Do you know him? Oh, do you know the apple man? He likes to play with me. Now he was happy. So it, it goes, oh, he has a great big smile, a great big smile, a great big smile. Oh, he has a great big smile and he likes to play with me. That was nice, right? Because he's a nice man. All right, my friends. Let's think about something. What kind of apples do you like? Hmm. What kind of apples do you like? There's all different kinds of apples, right? And there's different colors of them. And I'm going to show us how to make a web. Do you know why we use this in class? We make a thinking web right? Because it helps us to make our thinking visible and helps us remember what we're learning. So on here, I am going to draw an apple because this is all about our apples, right? So I want us to think, what color apples are there? Hmm, what colors? Can you think? Oh, Julian and Silas love green apples. Very good. So I'm going to put a little scribble scrabble of green on my web because now I can remember apples are green. What other colors are there? Hmm. Oh, Amari likes green also. That's fabulous. I like 
My grandma used to have lots of these yellow apples. Have you ever had a yellow apple? I like them. They are so yummy. Hmm, I can think of two more colors of apple. I'll give you a hint of one. <gasps> what color was that? I bet you know. It was red. A red apple, right? And then there's other apples that aren't quite red. They aren't quite green. They're not quite yellow. I think they look kind of pinkish. Though my pink on here looks almost red, but I think they look like pink. So this is one way we can think too. We can put things on a web. Good job, Amari, with the red. Absolutely. So we can do a thinking web too, right? And see what we like. Very good. Now, I have a special flannel story for us that's going to help us learn to count backwards. How many, and forwards, how many apples do I have here? Are you ready to count them with me? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I have five apples. Now you have to help me with this because when I say we're shaking the tree, I want you to pretend to shake your tree too, okay? Are you ready? Way up high in the apple tree, five little apples, they smiled at me. Okay, get ready. Shake your tree. I shook that tree as hard as I could. <gasps> Down came an apple. Mmm, was it good. <gasps> How many apples do we have now, my friends? Help me count. One, two, three, Four, four apples. Are you ready to do it again? Get ready to shake it. Way up high in the apple tree, four little apples, they smiled at me. So what did we do with our tree? We shook our tree as hard as we could. Down came an apple. Mmm, was it good. How many are left now? Ready? One two, three. Very nice. Okay, ready? Are you going to do it with me? Way up high in the apple tree, three little apples. What did they do? They smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Mmm, was it good. Are you getting full of apples? I am. I'm getting stuffed. How many are left? Look at that. Two. That's right. One, two. Way up high in the apple tree. Two little apples. They smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came an apple. Mmm, was it good. How many does that leave? That's right, one. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple smiled at me. He's still happy. So what did he do? I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apple. Mmm, was it good. How many are there now? Yeah, zero. That's right. Well, let's put them back on our tree. You're going to count with me? Okay, here we go. One apple. Two apples. Three apples. Four apples. And five apples. So we counted from five down to zero, and we counted from zero up to five. So we have five little apples. Now, I have a question for you. What letter does a, a apple start with? Think about the sound. What letter does a, a apple start with? Can you think of it? I'm going to give you a hint and see if you know it. Are you ready? Mm, 
What letter did I just write? Did you say an A? Absolutely. Good job, Amari. An A. And what sound does an A make for A, ah, A? Ah? Did you hear that? A, ah, A, ah, Apple? An A can make two different sounds because it's a vowel. It's tricky. It can make the short sound of A, ah, A, ah, A, ah, like Apple. Or it can make the long sound and say its name, A, A, A. Can you think of any th words that start with those sounds, a, 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 or a, a, a? Now we know apple, right? We know apple is one. What else? What other things start with a, a, or a, a? Hmm, can you think of anything you want to share? I can think of ant. Right? The ants go marching one by one. What other words could we think of? Oh, I thought of one. How about alligator? Right? Alligator. And what about the long A sound? A, 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 A. Oh, ape. I thought of ape. How about a, 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 hmm. <gasps> Angel, right? Now, let's look at how we write the lowercase A, because this is the capital A, and the lower, oh, good one, Amari, and that does begin with the A sound. So here we have a capital A, and here's a lowercase A, and that's a circle and a tail. See that? Now I want you all to, we're going to write them in the air. Our poster does not want to stay up today. We'll just leave it down. So are you ready? Get out your fingers. We're going to write them in the air. And we always start at the top, right? We always start writing at the top. So start at the top, make a diagonal line down. Good job. Start at the top again. Make another diagonal line down. See, we did those two lines. Now across the middle, we're going to put a little line. Zoop, zoop, across the middle, right? Very nice. Now let's try the little A. Are you ready? Get your finger out again. Make a circle. And give them a tail. Make a circle. And give them a tail. That's the little A. Fabulous. Okay, I have another, another thing for you. Take a look at your apple. Do you have your apple by you? Hmm, look at that. What is on the outside of the apple? Hi, Elsa, how are you? It's nice to have you in class. Thanks for coming to join us. You can leave us any comments you want in the chats, okay? Let's see. What's the outside of this apple called? It is the, the skin. An apple has several parts to it. The outside part is the skin, right? And sometimes it has a leaf and a stem. Like mine has a little stem in it. See that? Yeah. And then in the middle, when you cut it open, you see the white part that we eat, right? <laughs> Mmm, good. And in the very, very middle, do you eat that part? No, that's the seeds. We don't eat the seeds, do we? No, but what did Johnny Appleseed do with those seeds? What did he do with them? Yeah, he planted them, didn't he? Very nice. And how do you suppose he planted them? Hmm, what did he do to plant them? We're going to do a little finger play that helps us think of how we plant a seed. Does anybody know what seeds need to grow? What do they need to grow? Hmm, you need the seed. And where do we put seeds? Yeah, in the dirt, right? Very good. So once a little apple seed, dig a hole, put it in the dirt, was planted in the ground. Did you plant it? Okay, cover it up. There we go. Then what comes next? Down came the soft rain falling all around. So it has the dirt and it has the rain. 
then what does it need? That's right, the sun. Then out came the sun, as bright as bright could be. And then you know what happened? And that little apple seed grew into a big apple tree. Very nice, my friends. I like that. So guess what we're going to do to keep making connections, right? Our thinking key connections. To make connections to our apples and our apple tree and Johnny Appleseed, we are going to take an apple, right? And you're going to have mommy or whatever adult helper is helping you cut it in half. We're going to cut that apple seed in half apple in half. So here I have a hole. I cut it in half. And what will I find on the inside? Just like our flannel showed us, right? We will have the skin. We will have the flesh that we eat. And on the inside, we will have our seeds. Can you find your seeds? Mine are hidden way inside. See, there's little seeds in there. And you know what we're going to do with our apple seeds? We're going to be artists today. You can paint whatever you want with your apple. You can. But I myself, I want to make an apple tree because it makes me think of Johnny Appleseed. But you could make a tree. You could make an apple. You could just do apple prints all over your paper. You could make anything you wanted with your apple. So I'm going to show you what I did. I took some paint. And I put it on my plate because then I can put my apple in it to make my apple prints. See, watch what I do. Here we go. See my brown? I'm going to use that first. I'm going to take my paint and get my apple full of brown. <gasps> do you see that? What are you going to make? And then watch. I'm going to make the trunk of my tree. I'm going to go boop, boop. Woo, I just about dropped it. Boop, 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 boop. Look, I made my trunk. What are you going to make? Hmm. And what else does my tree need? I have a trunk. Then my tree needs, what goes on the top? What's the green? Leaves, absolutely. So I'm going to put it in my green. See my green? And I'm going to work on making my leaves. And it can be however you want it to be. It can be big. It could be little. It could be anything you wanted to make. Even like I said, just making apple prints because it's fun to do, right? And if you have a hard time holding on to your apple, you can always stick a fork in it to be able to paint with it a little bit easier. If that's a little hard for you. Now, here is my tree. I wonder what your paintings look like. You can always send them to me in the chat, right? After class, you could put it down in the, in the recording. Now, if this is an apple tree, I think I wanted to have a few apples. And I thought about this. I don't want to use a great big apple to make my apple print. I'm going to use my finger instead. And like I said, if you don't have apples, you can you paint with your fingers, with your paintbrush, with sponges, with cotton balls, with anything your adult helper tells you you can do. I'm going to make some apples. One, two, three. And I can count them too. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's going to have lots of apples. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16. I decided I like it with 16 apples. Hmm, looks pretty nice, doesn't it? What are you making with yours? I have my 16 apples. You could have no apples. You could have two apples. Whatever you want it to be, right? What did you make with your apple print, I wonder? I would love to see the pictures of it, my friends. Yeah. And you know what? You could always rinse off your apple and you're not going to want to eat it, but maybe you could put it outside for an animal to eat, right? And of course, the other half that maybe you didn't paint with, you could eat that, right? Because apples are so yummy and they're so good for us too. 
What a great job you did, everybody. So today, let's think about what we all did in our reflection, right? We made connections to who? Who planted the apple orchards? Johnny Appleseed, right? He planted our apple orchards right here. He walked all across the country planting seeds to make orchards. So he did that. And then we talked about the form of our letter A, right? And the sound of it. And we practiced writing it in the sky. Yeah, we did. And you could keep practice writing it on paper too. And then we all used our own viewpoint to make our own art, right? Yes, we did. I made my apple tree. You might have made something totally different. But that way we can combine all of that learning into one place. We can talk about numbers because we did that too. We can talk about our letters. We can do art. We can learn so many different things, right? Very good. Thanks for joining me today to talk about that. If anybody is interested, you are more than welcome to sign up for a two-week free trial at pre ktogocom or at the link below. It's a two-week trial, like I said. You can attend all the classes for your child's age group, or if you have several children, you can try them all out. No credit cards required. You can check it out. Plus, you get a free one-on-one -on -one meeting with your teacher to talk about different goals and things for your child or things that might benefit them or whatever you're looking for for the class. So thank you so much for coming today. It is going to be time for us to say goodbye, right? Until next time. Are you ready? Yeah. Is everybody ready to say goodbye? This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye after class each day. Are you ready? We give, we give a, a big high wave. We give our friends a big high wave, a big high wave, a big high wave. We give our friends a big high wave when we say goodbye. Yeah, we got a little confused for a minute, didn't we? That's okay, Ginger. We just always try better, right? We just try better. So we give a big high wave to our friends, right? And hope you have a good rest of your day. And please send me pictures of the art that you made. Put it in the, in the recording link. And it would be wonderful to see what you did today. Thank you for coming. And I hope to see you next week. Goodbye. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good week.